What's up guys, Matt here and this is vlog number 37. Alright, so today's question came from Jonathan. Of course, great question. The question was, Matt, I have a local business that does similar type things that I do and it seems like every time I come out with a new idea, they copy it and do the same thing. Right? We've all been in that situation before and it's difficult and you want to say something and it happens to us all the time as well, okay? So here's the thing that, and here's the way that I look at it is, there's not really anything you can do. If, if, if you get and, and start creating this product and you're doing sublimation and you start creating mouse pads and then the, the company down the road from you starts creating mouse pads as well and then you start creating rhinestone shirts and then the company down the road starts creating rhinestone shirts and there's not really anything you can do to prevent that. And I've heard different companies and different customers of ours say, I don't want to do social media because I don't want my competitors seeing what I'm doing. Which makes absolutely no sense to me. Because your only thing you're doing is hurting yourself. Because if you aren't doing social media and you aren't doing marketing and promoting it, then you also aren't allowing new customers to see what you do. Take it as a form of flattery if, if that business is copying, copying what you're doing and just know that you're always one step ahead of them, okay? Look at it that way. Believe me, when I was doing the finished product side of the business, the same thing happened to me all the time because I was always trying to think of new ideas, trying to think of new things, trying to be different, trying to find my niche of different things that I could offer that was different than the other companies around our area at the time. And it's the same thing for me now with the Rhinestone World side of it. Believe me, there's a lot of companies out there. I wouldn't say a lot. There's a few companies out there that don't like what I do, okay? They don't like that I took a completely different approach to the distribution side of the business and focused 100% on education and teaching all of you and sharing all of this knowledge and and telling you different places to go buy stuff because it's a lot less expensive than the way that I bought it when I first started. I mean, so there's companies out there that will say, hey, he just copies everything we do, which is actually the complete opposite. The whole reason I started the Rhinestone World is to do it completely different than the way they did it. So, are we selling similar type products? Yeah, heat transfer vinyl and rhinestones and things, but Again, my goal was to be 100% different than the way they were because we didn't get any customer support. We didn't get any help. They were just selling us product and say, figure it out yourself. And that's why when we got into this side of the business, I wanted to be completely different than them to provide support and help make all of you successful. <clears throat> so it's the same thing on the finished product side of it as well is if you see somebody copy you, just know in your head, this is all that matters is what's in your head. Know in your head, you know what, they're watching what I'm doing and they want to be like me. And that's the way I look at it too. I mean, we'll put stuff in our software that we'll see a, a competing, competitor company out there put it in their software two months later. I mean, even recently, when I've talked about different things that are going to be in the Wizard 4.0 before I, re I release it. I'm not not telling you guys the features because I don't want to tell you. Believe me, I want to share everything and say we're going to have this and this and this and this. The problem is, is I know all of them watch my videos and then they're going to try and put it in their software before we release it if I say that. And then they'll say, oh, the Rhinestone World copied us. So that's the only reason why we keep some of that stuff under wraps until we release it is we, everybody that watches, because we share so much information, they all watch and see everything that we're doing. And I don't care because we know what we're doing. We're confident in what we're doing. And we know we're going to think of new things and new ideas and out of the box ideas that a lot of the other companies are eventually going to be doing. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I know that, that we started it. It started a trend and it's selling and it's helping all of you. And that's all I care about. Okay. And educating all of you. So 
like for example with the bling anything material and the um and the heat transfer vinyl and the glitters and the adding the rhinestones on it into this i saw a couple different um businesses at the last few trade shows that are showing that exact same thing well guess where they got that idea from those coffee mugs that we made four months ago or whatever it was and we show them at every trade show i'm fine with that because you know what i can look in and say you know what that's good. I'm still one step ahead of them. Two steps, three steps. I might be a whole mile, right? And that's what the way you guys want to look at it. If there's companies out there that are copying what you're doing, think in your head. Don't get frustrated, okay? Don't get mad about it. Just think in your head. You know what? I'm still one step ahead of them. I got the advantage because I'm thinking of new things. You can't ever stop anybody from doing that stuff. They're not doing anything illegal. They're just, they know you're successful. They're following in your footsteps and they're going to be riding your coattail your entire business, right? Just hop on the coattail and come along for the ride. As long as you're the one dragging that coattail, I promise you, you'll be good to go, all right? So don't get frustrated with it. I, I see a lot and I talk to a lot of customers at different trade shows that say that all the time. Don't get frustrated with it at all. There's there's no harm in it. I mean, as, as long as they're not stealing any copyright issues or things like that, trademarks, they're doing something that's perfectly legal. You just stay on it, stay ahead of the game, keep them riding your coattails and uh, you're going to be successful because you're the one thinking of those new things and you're going to get all of those customers first. Now, when you get all of those customers first, you know what your job is? Your job is to provide that customer support and make that experience great for those customers. So when all those coattailers start riding and riding along and you're dragging them behind, well, your customers say, you know what? I'm already working with the Rhinestone World. They provide awesome support. I don't care if these other businesses have this in their software. I don't care if these other businesses make this shirt design or whatever it is because I'm already with the company that I, and that's the way a lot of your customers are going to be because you're providing great support. They know that you kind of got that going and came up with that awesome idea. And guess what? You got that customer. As long as you can get that customer first, you can satisfy that customer, you can make that customer happy, guess what, you're gonna keep that customer as well. So, great question. Hope this vlog helped you out, but it's never gonna end. If, if you come up with great ideas and you think of really cool things and you think of outside the box things, that other people are going to like it and they're going to try and knock it off and they're going to try and create the same thing. Just be a little bit better and by the time they're doing that thing that you had been doing for a few months anyway, guess what? You've already moved on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and just keep that going. Like I was saying in the vlog the other day, don't be satisfied where you're at, okay? When we had the question about working 24 seven, don't be satisfied where you're at. Always know that there's somebody else out there working and that's always my thought process is Anytime I take a break for anything, okay, I feel guilty if our family goes on vacation because I say, man, I'm on vacation and there's other businesses that out there that are working harder than I am right now. And just the way my personality is, I'm not good with that. I want to outwork every single other business in the world and be the most successful, okay? And some people are like that, some people aren't. But I can guarantee you when it comes to time involved and thinking and everything else, there's no other business in this industry or in most industries that are going to outwork me, okay? I'm going to come up with some ideas that are awesome, some ideas that are stupid. I'm going to find out which ones work. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I'm going to make adjustments and I'm going to make it as good as I possibly can and keep working at it to make it better and better and never be satisfied with it. I always look at it as this business could be gone tomorrow. So I better be working hard today to make sure that doesn't happen. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thanks for the amazing questions. You make this part easy because you guys just send me a question and I can just speak from experience. And it's so simple. Like I never, you'll see in all of these vlogs, 
<clears throat> I never write anything down. There's absolutely no script behind me. All of it is just coming from right here, just speaking on the spot, talking to my iPhone right here. Nothing special camera-wise as well. So, it's just speaking from my experience. Hopefully, it's helping all of you. But again, please, 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 click that like button, okay? Click the like button. Let me know that you guys are liking these vlogs. Let me know that they're helping you. Comment below with any questions that you guys have. I might answer your question in a future vlog or we'll just shoot some answers right there on the youtube channel to help you out as well but comment below let me know what you think of the vlogs give me some more questions click that little like button i appreciate it you guys are awesome thanks for being awesome trw crew members and i love doing this every day and sharing information hopefully it's helping all of you so of course of course to get all of the vlogs and all of our over 2000 tutorial videos all you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Just click that little button and hit subscribe. There's a little button next to it that you can get notifications every time we send out a new video. And to see all the vlogs, click on this playlist right here to check out our awesome website, therhinestoneworld.com, right up there. And then we got some other cool videos right there. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Later.